Hello and welcome or welcome back to my Dandelion Diaries. This is going to be a flip through of my cute little art and ink journal that I have been using for 2024 thus far. I didn't do a flip through of February so I'm just going to include the few pages I have for that in this video but this is mainly going to be a flip through of March in this little cutie. Um, I did end up adding one of my stickers from my shop. This is the Twinkle Butterflies. I don't know if the hollow is going to show but it has some hollow twinkles on it. Um, and then I haven't really made any changes to the front yet. I do want to color this in at some point, but the rest of this has pretty much stayed the same. Um, I talked about this a little bit in my quarterly update video, but I didn't really have a lot of time to sit down and like catalog my inks in this book like I wanted to. Um, so I just have the original ones I did with the yellow and then the monthly pages with the ink vent from 2023 and this monthly page here. And the rest of this is blank for now. I'm hoping to get to kind of play around with this a little bit more in April, even May. It's just tough for me because the spring season is really busy and I don't have a lot of time to play with too many inks. And I like to dedicate that time to like my ink exploration. So we'll see how this changes um, over the next month or so. I did end up updating a pen to my fountain pen inventory. It was the Ferrisol Press Carousel fountain pen in the Unfettered Flight. I was gifted that from the Jubilee program, so I wanted to make sure I added that here. And then I flipped through a little bit of January, I think, in a video before, so I'll go a little quickly through this. But I basically have been doing my curly inked ink exploration slash swatch situation in the front. Um, I've been sticking in letters from pen pals and friends and then the rest of January pretty much is blank except for this one which I think I've showed before too. And then in February um, I didn't do anything in February besides the ink currently inked situation where I did the big swatches of these which I'm not gonna lie, it is very nice to get to flip through this and revisit what the colors I used and get to see it in like a little writing sample as well using the pen that I had it inked in. The rest of February is completely blank. I didn't do anything else in the month of February, which is why I didn't really share a flip through of this one. But in March, this is a totally different story. So. I started the month off like I normally do with my currently ink situation. I think March has been my favorite colors I've used so far um, just because everything was super bright and I really enjoyed the colors I picked and I just I don't know it was it was really like a nice rainbowy spring situation and I know I think I labeled it yeah a sunny day uh, and I definitely feel that way still about that combination of inks and I really really liked it. I got some more happy mail here. This one's from Courtney. This was the inks she sent me. So she sent me the Roar and Cleaner sketch inks and then she gave me a few extras, which the Van Diamonds or Van Diemen's Snowy Mountain Sunset is so beautiful. Um, I haven't inked it in a pen yet, but I'm really excited to because the color of that is so bright and pink and shimmery and beautiful. Anyways. I also got some new inks from Fairsoul Press, um, again as part of their program. This was the calligraphy ink, which I had honestly never played with before, and this was really fun. I just used, oh gosh, a number two uh, watercolor brush, and it didn't dye this. This has just always been kind of dirty, uh, which I find happens with my paintbrushes over time. They just kind of get dirty, and I, it, it's comes off clean when I wash it but anyways I didn't have any problems with cleaning this off the brush it just acted a lot like paint so really really fun ink and very opaque very very opaque then I got this awesome letter from Mary so Mary if you're watching thank you so much for sending this this was such a fun open experience um, so I took a lot of the beautiful pieces of ephemera she sent me and just kind of collaged them in a page and then I wrote like a cute little note I just, I loved this. This was so, so fun. So thank you so much, Mary. It was a happy surprise when I got to my mailbox. Um, yeah, just, yeah. Then I got some more inks from Ferris Wool Press. This one is the Dancing Time, which I think I did a better swatch of this in my Instagram. I may have posted a short here as well. Um, but I got Dancing Time and then their new one, Emerald Gardens. I have been using Emerald Gardens in April so far and oh my god, it is just stunning. Okay, anyways, um, I love this ink. This is such a beautiful one. 
Then I wanted to get a document dark green ink. And so I picked up the Deatrimus document dark green and I'm, I'm really happy with the color. Like this is exactly the color I wanted because I wanted a version of like the, they should, they have another line, line of them. I think it's like the Jane Austen one. I'm not sure. Um, but I really wanted a permanent dark green ink. And when I swatched it, it bled through the paper horribly. Like it bled all through this. And then even on the writing on this side, it bled through here and onto the next page. So I was like, oh no, this is not okay. Like, and, and I bought a bottle. I didn't buy a sample. I bought a bottle. So I was really honestly disappointed with my swatch here. So I do have it inked up for the month of April just to make sure that it's not going to bleed through the paper every time I use it. And it's been doing just fine. So I think it was just the dip pen and then the swatch having so much ink that caused all the bleeding. Um, but the color is definitely one that I was really, really happy with. So stay tuned for updates on that for, for the end of April. Then I got some lovely inks from Savi or Javi. I'm so sorry if I mispronounce your name, <laughs> um, but these are really fun to swatch too. They're from Birmingham Pen Company. And I'm gonna be honest, I did buy bottles of several of these. So this was the Emerald Fusion, which is like a v very cool sheen green color. This is just so in insanely cool how sheeny this is and I find that it doesn't smear so one thing that I have a complaint with with sheening inks is they do have a tendency to just kind of like smear all over the page um and this one did not and same with tesla coil oh that just actually smeared I lied on camera look at that I don't know why that smeared the rest of it didn't smear that's weird hmm maybe there was like a wet spot still that's odd but yeah usually or maybe my hand's wet Ooh, my hand might be wet. Anyways, <laughs> um, these ones don't have as bad of a smear situation from the sheen. And I really like that about them. I didn't get full bottles of those though. I got full bottles of the rest of them. So this is the Sterling Silver, which I just included in my gray inks video. Um, this is Gunpowder, which I think is probably my new favorite black, honestly just because it's matte, like there's no sheen to it. It's really quite lovely. It's very nice. Um, I'm really, really liking that black. Um, then there's hibiscus, which also has some really nice kind of aqua-y shading, saltwater taffy, ladybug, oh, so cute, which I have a story about this in a second. And then tiger lily. I, yes, I bought full bottles of all of these. And so the purpose of these inks is because they are the atomic inks. So they can be mixed together to create an entire list of inks on Birmingham's website. And I ended up making a spreadsheet <laughs> of all the different inks I wanted to make. Um, so yeah, anyways, story time about the ladybug. So I originally ordered a bottle of the ladybug from Birmingham Pen Company. And when they sent it and I swatched it, it was not red, it was brown. And I was really, really concerned. Um, and I reached out to Priscilla. So thank you, Priscilla, if you're watching this for helping me with this, uh, cause she had ordered from them before with the big bottles and the atomic inks. And she said that her ladybug was not red and I didn't have this sample yet. I had, I had already ordered these and I hadn't gotten the sample yet. And so I reached out to Nick and Josh, which are the owners of Birmingham Pen Company. And Nick was so sweet. He said he mislabeled a bottle and they sent me the right bottle of ladybug free of charge. So thank you so much. Um, yeah, I, I was really concerned with the brown one I got cause I wouldn't be able to mix any of the inks with a brown versus the red. And I was just really, really impressed with their customer service and that they were able to get me the corrected bottle and I got to keep the old one and it is the mystery brown is what I'm calling it so there's that but I really really like these inks so thank you Javi or Savi for sending them to me I am really excited to get to play more with them and I'm really excited that I bought full bottles because I have more more to love more to share Moving on, this is also the letter she sent me. Her penmanship is fantastic, y'all, fantastic. Um, and she ended up making her own ink journal. And I'm so impressed with this. I don't know if the camera will pick up the detail in the photos she sent me, but she, it looks like she hand bound it and she used Clairefontaine paper is what she said in her note. So I am 
ultimately impressed, so, so impressed with your skills. And yeah, I, I hope I could do that someday. That's just really, really quite cool. That's pretty much it for the flip through of March. I did end up doing the eight pen question tag in April um, last week or this week. I don't remember when I did it. Uh, honestly, it's, it's on my channel if you're interested, but I haven't really made any other changes to this in the back. So the notes pages are still just the ink vent notes here. And then the extra pages, I've only made one change and that is on the, my favorites page. So this is what I'm using as like my top three inks for the month. So January was the BPC Polar Bear, the Dominant Industries Natural Green, and the Diamonds Cashmere Rose from the Ink Vent. Such a beautiful color. And then for February, I ended up going with the Wearing Gold Dracula because I just wrote that pen completely dry and adored it. The Dominant Industry Tuna and Olives. And then the Birmingham Pen Company's Twilight, which is funny. Like if you look at the ones I picked, they're like, the same colors <laughs> um, green dark pink slash red yeah anyways for march i ended up going with the roar and cleaners sulfurino such a stunning color it's so vibrant it's it's beautiful um robert oster's wind i also wrote that one dry just the chroma shading on that one is so fantastic and then i couldn't decide between the last two for a favorite like just to keep it to three so i ended up putting both down as my ferris wheel press goose poupon one of my favorite inks from them and then the birmingham pen company's weeping willow and then one thing since I've been doing this for three months now is I see the trend of the Birmingham Pen Company inks on here all three months and then um, the Dominant Industry Greens on here too for two months in a row. So I would say that I'm having definitely a love relationship with both of those brands of ink right now. Um, I just, I really love the flow of both of them and they, they've just really been, I've been enjoying them and they've been really fun to have on my radar. Overall, I really loved playing with this ink and art journal um, and I'm hoping to be able to dedicate more time to it to fill it up more with the things that I want to color with or swatch or catalog or whatever um, in the month of April, if not May, just months to come. I want to be able to play with it more often. But if you have any questions about anything I used in this journal or any questions about it in general, I'd love to chat with you about it in the comments. But for now, I want to thank you so much for watching, for joining me here today, and I will see you guys in the next one.